Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's look at a solubility curve and see if we can't figure out how to read it. Let's first take a look at what the graph tells us. Okay, over here you have the solute, the amount of um, the substance you're uh, dissolving into it. Here is the temperature. And then this is your solubility curve. And if you're on the line, you're saturated. If you're below the line, you're unsaturated, and above, you're supersaturated. So let's work a couple of common problems that you may encounter with these. Uh, what mass of solute will dissolve at 100 grams of water at the following temperatures? You have KNO3 at 70 degrees. So 70 degrees is here, and I'm going to go ahead and use a ruler. Let's find, whoopsie, let's, five, let's find KNO3 is this line right here. So I'm going to take the ruler, okay, and it is right on this line right here. So we're going up to here, and it intersects right there, and then we can move over, and it looks like 130 grams. And what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and draw this for you so you can see what I did. I started at 70 and I went up through here. Okay, and then I just went over this direction and I got to 130 grams. Okay, so this would be 130 grams. Let's work another example. We have NaCl, and so NaCl is right here, this line. Okay, we have 80 degrees. So this time, I'm not going to use a ruler. I'm just going to go ahead and move up, okay? And let's see where it intersects. It intersects right here. And then if we move over, we have, oops, that's not NACL, excuse me. You go, intersects right here. And if you move over, it is 50 degrees. Now, I went ahead and, excuse me, not 50 degrees, 50 grams. Uh, it doesn't always line up exactly on the number. Sometimes it'll it be in between and you have to just do the best you can. Now, let's look at another example you may have. It says, at 90 degrees Celsius, you dissolve 60 grams of NH4Cl in 100 grams of water. Is this solution saturated or unsaturated? Well, let's figure out how to do that. Remember, if it's on the line, it's saturated. Below the line, it's unsaturated. So we have 90 degrees, which is right here. We have NH4Cl, which is this line, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and first, this time I'm going to go um, the amount. We have 60 grams, okay? So I'm going to go at 60 grams. Okay, so let's move over 60 grams. And remember, I have to go all the way over to 90 degrees, which is right here, okay? And if you'll notice, the solubility line is right there, so it is underneath, so it would be unsaturated, okay? And let's do one more. You have a mass of NaNO3, okay? And it is right here, is this line. You have 145 grams, which is 145 grams is right here. I'm going to move over. Okay, it's NaNO3. And we are going to 80, excuse me, what temperature? We are at 80 degrees. So 80 degrees is right here. And it looks like it intersects exactly on the line, so it would be saturated, okay? So, I hope that helps in reading a solubility graph. Remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.